Hello, my name is Mark, and this is a video lecture about applications of quadratic equations. Okay, so let me read you the problem. One leg of a right triangle is one centimeter less than twice the length of the other leg. The hypotenuse is 17 centimeters long. What are the lengths of the triangle? So any time we can draw a picture, let's do that just to get a visualization of what's going on. So we know we're dealing with the triangle. In this case, we're dealing with the right triangle. So I'm draw this. Okay. So I drew a right triangle. And I know what? I know that uh, one leg of the right triangle is one centimeter less than twice the length. So I'm going to pick a side to represent the leg of one side of this triangle. In this case, I'm going to use x. Okay. So let me get another color real quick. So I'm using x. And I'm going to pick, and because the problem says that the other side is one centimeter less than twice the length, one centimeter less than twice the length of the other side, I'm going to let the other side represent 2x minus 1. Minus 1 for one centimeter less, 2 for the twice. Okay, what else do we know? Well, we know that what the hypotenuse is 17 centimeters. What is the hypotenuse? The hypotenuse is the side opposite of the largest angle. And so in a right triangle, the largest angle will be the 90 degree angle. So 17 will go here. Okay, now what's next? Well, we need to figure out what the other two sides are. So we know one side is 17, and then we have an expression to represent the other two sides. If one side is x, the other side is 2x minus 1. Okay, so what can we use to solve this? Well, we can use Pythagorean's theorem, which tells us a squared plus b squared is c squared. Right, so we know a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And we know what C is. C is always the hypotenuse. A and B are either of the two sides. So I'm going to let A be the X. Remember, I got a squared. And then I'm going to let B represent 2X minus 1. And I got to square that. Okay. So. Let's see here. Now let's solve for this right here. Okay, so I'm going to write 2x minus 1 twice because it's squared. And then next I'm going to FOIL that 2x minus 1. And when I FOIL that I get 4x squared minus 4x plus 1. Make sure I bring down the x squared. Make sure I bring down that 17 squared. Okay. And then, by the way, 17 squared is what? That's 289. If I combine my like terms on the left-hand side, I'll get 5x squared. Okay. And then next, I want to do what? Well, if I'm trying to get a quadratic equation, I need everything to be equal to zero. So I'm going to subtract the 289 from both sides. And so what I'll be left with on the right-hand side is just a zero. And on the left-hand side, I'll have 5x squared minus 4x minus 288. And I think I need to drop the video just a little bit. Okay. Now what's next? Well, now we need to factor 5x squared minus 4x minus 288. Okay, so when I factor those two, I get this. x minus 8 times five x plus 36, and that should be equal to 0. All right, so what's next? 
So I need to set those individual binomials equal to zero. So that's going to be x minus 8 equals zero. And 5x plus 36 equals zero. So I solve for the left-hand equation. I get x equals 8. And when I solve for the right-hand equation, I get x equals what? Negative 36 over 5. So let's think here. What are we looking for? Well, we're looking for what? The sides of a triangle. So the sides of a triangle is what? It's length. And they should always be positive because we don't measure in negative length. Okay, so we can reject one of these. Okay. So we let x equal 8. Okay, so if x equals 8, that's the side of one length. That's 8 centimeters. Then what is 2x minus 1? Well, 2 times x is what? 16 minus 1 is what? 15. And so you can do in your own time, you can just go ahead and calculate that out and see that 8 squared plus 15 squared should give you 17 squared. Okay, so it does follow Pythagoras' theorem. Therefore, to answer the question, the original question was, what are the two other sides? And we came up with what? We came up with 8 and 15. Okay, so that concludes this question, and thank you for listening.